because experience matters. For home, auto, business, health, and life, we are here for you. When Galloway experts make top providers compete for your business, you win. The Galloway Insurance Team, since 1935. Burn it, Horseshoe Bay, and Marble Falls. Hey everybody, I'm Amber Weems here with your Picky and Roundup. We start with images of a lawman honored for his courage on duty despite a debilitating injury. And still serves with diligence and honor. Deputy Forsman on July 22, 1999, while inventorying the vehicle of an arrested DWI suspect. That's Burnett oh, County Sheriff W.T. Smith recognizing investigator Dennis Forsgren. The peace officer suffered an on-duty injury 12 years ago that robbed him of one of his legs. During the Burnett County Commissioner's meeting on Tuesday, he received the County Order of the Purple Heart Medal because of his continued service. We're, just, we're, we're very proud of the way he has not only distinguished himself then, but continues to distinguish himself day in, day in, and out, coming to work and doing a great job for us, and we appreciate it very much. Just glad to hear about my family. <laughs> Forsgren's injury happened in 1997. He lost his leg when he was pinned between two vehicles while he was conducting a DWI traffic stop. In our next feature, we'd like to tell you about a fundraiser which helps children without health insurance. The 8th annual Emory Ballard Spike Dykes Seton Caravan Golf Tournament is right around the corner. The legendary Texas football coaches participate in the event scheduled to start at 6 p.m. on August the 5th with a so-called tailgate party at the Galloway Hammond Recreation Center. The golf tournament will be held at Delaware Springs on August the 5th and 6th. The Classic serves as a primary fundraiser for the hospital's mobile health care unit. The program serves children at area school campuses with things like well child exams and vaccinations. Organizers of the tailgate party have tables available. Sponsorship proceeds go to the caravan and the event will include a silent and live auctions, food and beverages as well as live entertainment. Contact Seton Highland Lakes for more information. And finally, we share images of a classy group at the Dabs Hotel recently in Lano. What you're looking at are images of 1950s alumni from Lano schools. This first group from 1950. In this next photo, you can see good attendance from the class of 1951. And not to be outdone, the class of 1952 makes their presence known as well. The group and their spouses reminisced about the good old days with a meal at the historic Dabs overlooking the Lano River. We wish them many more reunions to come. Well, that was your roundup for this week. You can find these images and more feel-good stories in the Picayune. Thanks for watching. I'm Amber Weems.